Sean? My Lords, I rise to offer my support to Amendment 19 in the name of the Noble Lord, Lord Stevenson Balmacara, and I regret that we haven't yet heard his explanation for that, but I look forward to it. But I also rise to speak in opposition to Amendment 15 in the name of the Noble Lady Baroness Kramer, um, sharing my opposition with the Noble Lord, Lord Lansley, although for somewhat different reasons. Um, I really regret that we're not being joined in this debate by the Noble Lord, Lord Hendy, who gave a really e excellent expert outline of the problems with ISDS in the committee stage of this debate. And I would urge Noble Lords who haven't caught up with that to go back to that because that's a really excellent explanation from an expert viewpoint. I'm going to offer a particularly, again, as I was speaking in the last amendment, a particularly climate viewpoint on this. And we point out that 70% um, of the biggest ISDS awards since 2012 have been to fossil fuel companies. If you look at one of the large ones, that was awarded, um, a separate country, country a company, was awarded $50 billion um, in a dispute over the uh, confiscation of oil and gas assets in Russia. Now, Russia didn't pay that money because it pulled out of ISDS, but nonetheless, it's a very large award. And this is a huge issue when you think about the scale of what's known as the carbon bubble. Most of the known, um, explored, uh, placed in reserves, fossil fuel reserves that we have cannot be developed. Countries are going to have to stop them being developed. We have to do that through the climate talks, but companies are get, countries are going to have to decide which companies cannot develop those. And that is going to be very large sums of money that potentially we could see particularly fossil fuel companies, trying to hold to ransom countries and saying they cannot take climate action. Now, it's not just me saying this. I, I note that 150 MPs and MEPs, referring particularly to the Energy Charter Treaty, which was signed in 1994 with the aim of integrating the energy industry of the former Soviet bloc um, into the broader European systems. These 150 MPs and MEPs said, the strong climate ambitions of the EU domestically and internationally are, forced, uh, are at risk because of the ISDS provisions in the Energy um, Charter Treaty and they're calling for it to be renegotiated. So I think that we have to draw a line in the sand here and say that governments have to be able to make decisions in the interests of their own citizens, in the interests of the planet and not face being held to account by undemocratic, um, uh, untransparent uh, ISDS tribunals. And very briefly, because I think it will be slightly academic, so I won't take too much of the House's time, but I would suggest that multilateral investment tribunal and an appellate mechanism, as suggested by um, Amendment 15, is essentially an ISDS wolf in sheep's clothing it's arguably a little more transparent and slightly less um, slanted in favour of the multinational interests, but still not what we need. We need to be able to rely on the courts to be able to rely on democratic governments. Thank you, my lords.